Today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at some awesome rocks that I've gotten from some subscribers. But before we do that, I think we need something to kind of spice this up. That's better. All right, so as I was saying, I have gotten some awesome subscriber mail uh, since I started doing this. Um, and every now and then I get some packages that just completely blow my mind. So today we're gonna be looking at two of those uh, from two different subscribers. And I'll kind of go through them as, and talk about the subscribers once we actually get the rocks out. Um, but it is now early October, actually middle of October in Montana. Fall is totally coming. We have a whole week of snow coming next week, so I have no idea what next week's video is gonna be. Um, but yeah, it's gonna get, in, we're, we're definitely leaving summer, which is a little bit sad. So I'm excited to share these rocks with you guys. I've also got a couple little uh, bonus treats at the end of the video. Um, so I'm excited to bring you guys along. Hope you enjoy this. Pour yourself a cup of coffee and tea, and let's take a look at some rocks together. And here is Kip. You can see how he feels about our weather. What do you have to say to your fans, Kip? All right, so our first package, some interesting stuff in there, is from a longtime Rock County collector from Idaho. Uh, his name is Parley. So be on the lookout for him down in the comments. Um, he sent me this, um, I think it was actually May, and this package just blew my mind. He is clearly well-versed in the lapidary arts, um, and so I'm really excited to show you all the stuff that he sent. So let's get into it. Okay, so Parley is nice enough to organize everything that he sent. It's organized, labeled. Um, so you can just imagine my surprise when I got this stuff in the mail. So we're just gonna take a look at it here, piece by piece. So the first thing we've got is um, picture Jasper from Oregon, from the Oahe Desert. Um, this stuff is very well known in the lapidary world for um, making what sort of looks like ocean scenes, I believe. Uh, and so this is just a beautiful piece, actually. So that's awesome. Here is some um, stromatolite, which is something I don't know very much about. I believe it's sort of like a uh, mud formation. Um, you find them a lot by oceans, but man, just check that out. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? If you know more about stromatolite, feel free to post it down in the comments. We've got some more picture Jasper from the Oahe area. Just stunning. Beautiful. Here is Briggs Jasper from, or sorry, Biggs Jasper from Biggs, Oregon. My gosh, just <laughs> look at that. Is that not insane? And I'm assuming, I, I mean, no, Parley's got some big rock saws and stuff, but this is also partially polished, I believe. So, wow, that's amazing. Here's some Kerasite Jasper, also from Oregon. Look at that nice shine on there. I mean, that is just amazing. I mean, Parley, I, I, I know you watch most of my videos, so if you're watching this, thank you. We've definitely exchanged some emails, and he knows how much this meant to me, um, but I am just still totally in awe when I look at these. Here's a nice petrified wood slab. See, if I look at this, I wouldn't even have guessed this was petrified wood, but I mean, just look at that. It's so beautiful. See, I, I, I'm still just sitting here sort of stunned. Here is plume agate, also from Oregon. We have some polished specimens of this a little bit later on. But just check it out. I mean, that is beautiful. <laughs> and the last from this container here is some petrified wood from Idaho. Wow, that's cool. I do have a little bit of water here next to me. I was thinking I might just get it a little wet so you can 
see more detail there. But just check that out. That's so pretty. Okay, that's just container number one. Here is container number two. We have more slabs. And they're all in their own little baggies. Here's some Beacon Hill Thunder Egg. I believe all of these still match up with where, I, where we got them. But look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, Beacon Hill Thunder Egg. Can you just imagine that and finding that for a second? Please leave a comment saying which one of these specimens is your favorite. I know Parley will get a kick out of it, and it'd be kind of fun to see what everybody likes the most. No wrong answer. Here is Graveyard Point Plume Agate from Oregon. Wow. Oregon's another one of those really big uh, kind of mineral and gem states. You find lots of cool stuff there. Graveyard point plume agate. Wow. The plumes are really visible there. You can just see them kind of shooting around inside. And here's one more piece. Look at that. You can see the translucency there. So cool. Alright. Some more goodies here. Blue Mountain Jasper. Look at these like orb patterns. Isn't that amazing? That is so pretty. I'm telling you, one of these days I gotta get my hand on a tile saw. Or sorry, not a tile saw. Like a big uh, slab saw. Yeah, I have a lot of fun with that. Here's some dead camel Jasper from Nevada. Look at that. That is so intricate. That's cool. Here's some more plume agate, the Linda Marie plume agate. Cool. Oh, guys, is that not stunning? <laughs> and then, I'm gonna try to pronounce this, Turtella agate from Lovell, Wyoming. Wow, look at that. That is just crazy. I feel like these have to be some sort of fossils in there. Hopefully, um, we'll get some more details down in the comments about some of this stuff. Here is Willow Creek Jasper. Um, this is kind of very close, or close to home for um, this is very close to home for Parley. It's kind of in his backyard. Wow. So pretty. I mean, honestly, I know I've talked a lot in my videos just about how pretty Jasper can be, and this is a perfect example of it. Especially when it's slabbed like this. So neat. Okay, we've got some beautiful ones coming up here, guys. Look at this one. I teased this one on my Instagram the other day. Reynolds Creek Thunder Egg. Okay. <laughs> so that takes it to a whole nother level. That's just mind blowing here. I kind of want to see what it looks like when it's wet. Wow. I mean, guys, have you ever seen anything prettier than that? I mean, yes, I'm sure many of you have, but just, wow, that's stunning. And here is a Richardson's Ranch Thunder Egg. Um, this is a place I've been wanting to visit at some point, um, but my understanding is that they currently might be closed, but that's really, really pretty. Okay, a few more things here. We have some more Jasper from Oregon, beautiful. 
like some more Jasper here. Wow. Antelope Jasper. That's just stunning. So here is some Snowflake Obsidian. How cool is that? I've seen some of this stuff before, but I don't think I have any in my collection. Here is some Rodenite. I think that I'm saying that right, from California. Very cool. And then Bruno River Jasper from Idaho. Whoa. <laughs> wow, that's so pretty. Okay. Now, um, we do have a couple other things here. Um, this is one that I'm super excited about. I was so excited when I first saw this because this is dry head agate, which is one of the rarest, uh, most sought after agates in Montana. Uh, found sort of south of where I go up into the priors, but that's just stunning. I mean, and there's another smaller agate actually a little bit further in here. Actually, it'll be in this in this next box, box of these semi-polished specimens. So here we've got petrified limb cast. And look at that polish that he put there on the end of it. You can see there's a little bit of blue right there. I was kind of wondering what that might be. But that's so pretty. I mean, this stuff's just amazing, Parley. Thank you so much. Here is that other dry head agate. These are very hard to find nowadays because the site where you get them from is closed. Here is more of that Linda Marie plume agate, now polished. You can just see how much that pops out at you when it's polished. Here's another piece of the Linda Marie plume agate, polished. So pretty. And then this, I really like this one. This is Willow Creek. I'm assuming this is Jasper. Or a banded shirt, maybe? But look at that. So cool. Okay, and I saved kind of the coolest stuff. Well, it's all cool. Who am I kidding? I saved some of the neater things they sent me for last because these are all finished stones that he's worked on. So here's a little um, dry head agate that he turned into a cabochon. I'm gonna get these out of the bag. Hang on one sec. Okay, I got them all out of their bags now so I can do them true justice. So we are looking at this one. Here's a little cabochon of that dry head agate material. That is so stunning. This is another cabochon from Graveyard Point in Idaho. I mean, check that out. You can see that Parley is clearly just a lapidary stud. This is moss agate from Idaho. Hopefully the lighting's okay there. Look at that. This is morrisonite from Oregon. I'm reading these as I'm going, but look at that. Parley, these are beautiful. <laughs> this is moss agate from Idaho. You can see the moss, you can see why they call it moss agate. I mean, what more do you need right there? And then here's a banded agate from Oregon. I don't even need to say anything about that. That's just stunning. And then this one was unlabeled, but clearly a, an agate of some sort. And then there's this tiny, tiny little one that he labeled as an unknown agate. But I figured I'd leave it in there because <laughs> I don't want to lose that. Ugh. Okay, we have one more box to look at from Parley. Oh, I forgot to mention Parley sent all of these um, little, you know, end pieces or cuts from his saw for me to tumble. I mean, how great is that? And then he also sent some larger specimens. Um, so let's get that out of the way for a second and just take a look at this. Here's some Yellowstone agate that he sent to me. I mean, that is a beautiful one. Here's one that clearly I'm gonna have to cut at some point. More this one, which I had no idea what's inside it, but I think also one for the saw. You can see the little agate bits poking out there on the top, and then here is some are some crystals. I'm assuming they're quartz crystals, but I'm not positive actually. Um, 
But look at those, just stunning. <laughs> okay. And then I was just gonna kind of show you a little a few peeks from inside the box here, because there is some cool stuff. Um, you can see some things that he was working on in here. Um, some little moss agate pieces. Tons of Jasper. I think this is actually a dry head agate. Let's get it wet really quick. Hard to say for sure, but I mean, just stunning. Um, oh my. Guys, I can't show you all that's in here, but maybe what I can do is give you a little update. Oh, here, look at, here, look at this one. This is cool. I think that's gotta be dry head agate. So pretty, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Parley, thank you so much for this. Um, what a great gift. Okay, let's move on to the next set. All right, the last package is from a subscriber named Tessa from Michigan, I believe. And she also labeled all this stuff. Um, so let me kind of get it open and we'll run through it really quick. Okay, let's start with these because these are very cool rocks. Um, if you've watched Michigan Rocks, he's a very popular Rock County YouTuber. You've seen a lot of these. These are Potoski stones, uh, which I believe are fossilized coral, super old. Um, he's an expert on those. If you wanna know more, check it out on his channel. But what's really cool is when they get wet or when they get polished, you can see that coral pattern really start to just kind of pop out. So let's do a couple more here. Look at that. Super cool. Let's do this one too, because I think this one looks really good. Look at that. I don't know there's like various grades of Potoski stones, um, but these are just so cool. I don't have anything like this in Montana. And she also sent one that her dad had polished. So look at that. I mean, those just turn out so cool once they've been worked on. So that's beautiful. Okay, these rocks, and I'm going off of the notes that she sent me, are called deathbeds. Um, so it's like a fossilized layer of dirt that then contains all of these fossils and um, pieces of apparently crinoid, cr crinoid stems and pieces. So that's super cool. I mean, I, I know so little about fossils, but you can see little, little creatures in there. It's just kind of neat to see. And that is another one. Very cool. Okay, here we have what she calls horn coral. You can see she made a nice drawing down there for us. And I think you can see how they get their names because they look like horns. That's really fun though. See, I don't find anything like this. I, I know people like Theo, if you've checked out Theo Kellison's channel, he finds cool fossils, but I just don't know enough to recognize them or what I'm looking for. So those are super neat. And here are, I'm gonna say favocytes, because I do not know how to say, say that. I will just butcher that name. So it's another four fossilized coral. And check these out. That is super interesting. You can totally see how that looks like coral. Wow, that's so cool. Oh, it's a much bigger piece. You can kind of see it there in the end. And look at like sort of the intricate weaving in there. Oh man, it just makes you realize how much there is to find. I think I already showed this one, maybe I didn't. So thank you, thank you, Tessa. I think we have a couple more things to look at. Here are some pieces of slag which are a byproduct of the old refining processes that must have been in Michigan. Kind of looks like something from another planet. <laughs> That's cool though. Like a meteorite or like, you know, something like that. Actually, I have no idea what meteorites look like, but it's cool stuff. And it's like a really pretty green color. It's kind of neat. Wow, that, those are cool, those are really pretty. Um, got one more thing here. Okay, and last but not least, she sent us some assorted beach stones. So we're gonna take a look at them here. 
um, clearly some more like fossil stuff. Now, um, I will say Tessa is thinking about starting a YouTube channel, so uh, maybe leave some encouragement down there for her in the comments. This looks like almost like Jasper. That's really pretty. I'm starting to feel a little jittery from my second cup of coffee for the day. Super pretty. Ooh, look at that. That's fun. Here's something interesting. Hmm. So much goodness to look at. I always love getting them wet. You can kind of see all the colors that are hiding and pop out if you polished them or tumbled them. So big thanks to Tessa. Um, guys, leave a comment thanking Tessa and everybody else that sent rocks. Um, I'm so glad I get to share them with you guys just because, I mean, that's what this channel's all about. And it's so neat that I get to show you something that I didn't find. Now, I think I did say something about a surprise. Okay, the surprise is I have another tumbled batch that I wanted to show off really quick. Here are some of those pieces that you've seen me get really excited about, such as this banded jasper. Here's a really neat piece of yellow jasper I found. All of these are you know, out of the tumbler within the last few weeks. It's a nice little piece of moss agate. And there's some really, so here's that blue one. You guys remember me getting really excited about? With the little quartz pocket in there. That's so pretty. Hang on, I'm trying to find the one. Oh, here. This is one of my very earliest treasure state agate finds now tumbled. It turned out really, really well. <laughs> and I think there's a couple more I wanted to show you. Yeah. Right there, there's another piece of sort of that banded jasper. And then check out this one. You guys remember when I found that? I sure do. And you can see there's tons more in here to show off. But I think, we, I think we'll have to save that for another video. So I know this was a little bit of a different video. Um, I'm assuming I'll be back out hunting soon. Like I said, I don't know what's gonna happen with the weather next week, but I just wanna say a big thank you to all of my subscribers, everybody who's been watching my videos because the channel just continues to grow and surpass my expectations and that is all thanks to you guys. So thank you so, so much. Um, I know I put some talk out there about doing a giveaway and I'm still trying to work with somebody, I don't wanna give anything away, to try to make a really cool giveaway happen. So please be patient with me. I hope you guys are all gonna have a great weekend. Um, thanks for watching this video. Leave a comment letting me know what was your favorite rock. Say thank you to Parley and Tessa because they made this video possible. Um, and you can always shoot me an email if you're interested in sending me a package and maybe it'll get featured on this channel. So thanks so much and we'll see you guys next time.